So for today, we're going to be looking at the Sublime sets for the Titans. If you guys don't know, we've already done the review video and the shader video. They're both right here. You guys can check it out. And we've already done the Hunter video. You can check it out here as well. So yeah, I definitely would recommend checking all of the videos just because A, the review, we go through all of the armor, how it looks, how it shaders. Unfortunately, we go through the white glow version, not the non-glow because uh, sadly, the Warlocks still have a bug. So you guys don't have your non-glow version. So that's why we look at the white glow. So that way it's equal to everyone. Um, the shader video, we go through all of my favorite shaders and the hunter video is literally what we're going to do now where I get individual pieces from the set and then make individual sets from those pieces. So I definitely love making these videos just because it really helps to stretch my muscles, so to speak, like my fashion muscles, like some pieces I'm like, oh, I don't know how to use this. And other set, other ones, I'm like, this is going to be fun. And this is one of those sets where it was a lot of fun. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the reticule lock ornament for the Abeyant Leap. And this one, we're going to be utilizing the helmet. And I don't know where this came from. Honestly, like when I saw this helmet, I was like, had so many ideas. I was like, oh, this could be cool for like a Xenomorph look, even though I've already done a Xenomorph look. You could do some cool things with like maybe a soldier type thing, which is why I went with this. The Veritas plate was the first thing I went with. And then the reticule lock ornament was the second thing I thought of because I love combining these two. And then the wall watcher gauntlets was also something I thought about because A, it's symmetrical and it's like uh, weight wise, like it looks symmetrical to the chest piece. It's not too big, not too small. It's like super like good. And the mark, I wanted the Cogborn uh, custom mark just because I usually combine this with tactical sets, which this is kind of a tactical set. So. I actually think the females look a little bit better than the males just because the arms um, are not super big. Not saying the males are super big, but it's like, it's weird. Like the arms just look a little bit better for the females in this one. So I definitely like this one for the shader queen colors where we're using. I love this shader. It's like one of my favorite shaders. This is also the default shader that comes with the Veritas plate. So that's why it looks so good. But yeah, I really like this set. If I were to change a few things, honestly, it would be the chest piece. Um, and the arms. I think those two would be the first things I would change and just go for tactical instead. That being said, I still really like this one, like as is. So for me, this is a dub. So let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using Armamentarium. Now, this is like one of my favorites just because of how well it came out. So for the helmet, Eidolon Pursuant Helm. For the arms, obviously the Sublime set, specifically with the White Glow, which is the only set from all of the videos that I've made, aside from the Warlocks, because I still haven't made that one that are using that because I think it's really, really cool. For the chest piece, we're using Armamentarium with Secondary Energy Ornament. For the boots, Raytex Snow Boots. And then for the mark, we're gonna be using the Contender Mark. So this one is, so I like the set. That being said, I would switch out the shader because I didn't notice it when I was making it because I was like, oh, this, gonna, this looks so cool. And I was like on that high. Yeah, um, the arms are not the same glow as everything else. The the Arctic Dreamscape has a very like true white color. And unfortunately, the Sublime Arms has more of a yellow glow. So definitely look out for that. That being said, if you can find a shader that has a, a white and like a yellow white, that would be the best because unfortunately, the shoulder pads have that yellow glow but not not even like a super deep yellow like it's just a very light yellow but then the arms specifically the like the the forearms you guys will see there's glow there that's actually a white so that's very unfortunate because that's what i first saw and then when i saw the shoulder pads i was like okay well now it's not making sense but i still like this one a lot obviously i'm going for a neo tactical look which is why i really like this set i'm a huge whore for tactical sets it's like one of my favorite looks so yeah you're gonna see, my channel is mainly focused on tactical which is kind of annoying but at the same time i think it looks fucking cool so let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next set i will honestly say i think this is my favorite hands down just because of how clean it looks um so for the exotic syntheseps with the augmented auspice is what we're going to be using for the chess piece that is the sublime set if you see a, a a piece that doesn't have a name that is the sublime set it's just i don't know it's still bugged i guess but for the helmet we're going to be using the cogborn custom cover for the boots ring walker greaves and then for the mark we're going to be using the intrepid explorer mark so this one 
I've made a set like this before in the past, um, not with the same helmet, but it was definitely with the chest piece and the boots, I think. Uh, the chest piece was just a different thing, but the, it, for that one, it was more of a like a Jax from Mortal Kombat. This one honestly just re kind of reminded me of a like a rancher that has just had bio like bio arms or not bio arms, uh, biomechanical arms. So that's like where my head went to. Like, I just want to make like a farmer that has had work done on their arms. So I definitely like this one. Like this one is definitely more rule of cool than like a specific theme, even though I did say like, oh, look, reminds me of a farm farmer or rancher. <clears throat> this is much more of a like the I guess the theme would be the fact that everything is super cloth. And then when you see the arms, that is the tactical, not tactical, but like the mechanical piece of it, well, I, which I think looks super cool, especially with the sublime piece. I think these two look so good together. This is actually my favorite set and I'm kind of mad because I usually don't use Synthoseps but for this set I actually might start using it more because I just think it looks that good and last but not least we're gonna be using one eyed mask the base look of it now this one I'm gonna be honest with you is the weakest one from the whole video I really hate that we don't have any good like just regular helmets for the for the Titans like something that I can just put that's gonna look good with just like regular stuff nothing crazy like but titans you guys really do not have like like hunters we have a few helmets that like will just look good with like a a casual look you guys don't have that like the best one is one eyed mask and even then i'm like not the biggest fan of it even though it does look good with it but yeah i tried to use other pieces like oh like arms chest piece but unfortunately i couldn't find something that was just like casual so one eyed mask is what i ended up deciding with so for the arms intrepid exploit gauntlets for the chest piece starfarer's plate and then for the boots and the mark we're gonna be using these sublime pieces so i like this one a lot like more than i really should con considering like <sighs> it's not that i think it's bad it definitely does not look bad it's just weird like me the other problem and i hate i hate to like just punch you while you're down but the fact that you guys don't have arms that are just cloth that are good that shader well is a big problem as well like there is one but it, you got you have like a big tiger on one side and it the shaders terribly usually so yeah i'm not the biggest fan of this one i definitely will just repeat this is the weakest one from the whole set but i do think the other three like make up for it by far just because it's the other three are so good this one's definitely like i can see where my head's going and i definitely am excited to go forward with some of the, the things here now I do think I should have used the white glow instead just because the the little like rockets on the sides of the uh, the shin guard they're really cool and that you like when the glow is out it actually does look like fire is coming out so I I think I should have used the glow instead but I think it came out fine so let me know what you guys think Titans I really was happy to use a lot of your pieces just because it was a lot of fun again three of the four sets are bangers like legitimately can't see myself using all of them so definitely tell me what you guys think about them in the comments below remember i'm gonna be postponing the warlock sublime sets because they are still unavailable for the regular or the like non-glow version once the non-glow <laughs> once the non-glow version comes out then i'll start working on that video unfortunately by that time um the event's gonna be over i mean today is the last day today's monday the 26th so for those of you who are still on the fence get the armor it does not take long to get the armor i mean if you're super busy today then unfortunately it probably is but if you're not busy and you're like just kind of like fucking around just get the armor it's definitely worth it and it's free this is one of the only events that gives you free armor not only the base look without the glow but also with the white glow you can get that for free as well so definitely get it i really 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 do recommend them so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later